Have you ever wondered how tax from your salary is computed? What's up guys, it is Gerard back to you with another tutorial video on taxation. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about withholding taxes on compensation income. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about tax for pure compensation income earners and then give an illustrative problem on how to compute such tax and then give relevant BIR forms for employees. So to review, we have three kinds of individual income taxpayers. We have pure compensation income earner, we have pure business income earners or those practicing their profession, and then we have mixed income earners. Now when we say compensation, this refers to all income payments in money or in kind arising from services performed by an employee under an employer-employee relationship. Now, compensation includes salaries, honoraria, bonuses, allowances, and others with similar nature. So a pure compensation income earner, simply put, is an individual whose sole income comes from an employer-employee relationship. Now, the question is, how do we know if such relationship exists? So to determine the existence of an employer-employee relationship, one of the common methods used is what we call the fourfold test, which includes the following. The power to hire or selection and engagement, and there is payment of salary or wages, power to dismiss, then lastly, power to control an employee's conduct. So taxable income for compensation earners is the gross compensation income less non-taxable income or benefits, such as but not limited to the 13-month pay and other benefits, subject to limitations, the minimis benefits, and employee share in the SSS, GSIS, PhilHealth, Pag-IBIG contributions, and union dues. So let's start with our first problem. Mr. CSO, a minimum wage earner. He is not engaged in business nor has any other source of income other than his employment. The taxpayer earned a total compensation income of 135000 now, the taxpayer contributed to the SSS, PhilHealth, and HDMF or Pag-IBIG amounting to 5000 and has 13-month pay of 11000 His income tax will be computed as follow. So, total compensation income of 135 less all the deduction which is 16000 So, total taxable income is 199000 But income tax will be zero. Now, my point in showing this illustration is to emphasize that minimum wage earners shall be exempt from the payment of income tax based on their statutory minimum wage rates. The holiday pay, overtime pay, night differential, and hazard pay received by such earner are likewise exempt. Let's have three employees to demonstrate the computation of the monthly withholding tax on salaries. Now for us to compute their prescribed withholding tax, we need to refer to BIR's revised withholding tax table effective January 1, 2018 to December 31, 2022. As you can see, the table shows brackets for daily, weekly, semi-monthly, and monthly. For this illustration, let's focus our attention to the monthly bracket. For employee 1, the taxable compensation is 20000 which is within bracket number 1. So based from the withholding tax table, we do not have any tax. So the prescribed withholding tax will be 0. For employee 2, the taxable salary is 30000 Bracket 2 will be applicable. So to compute the prescribed withholding tax, from the 30000 deduct 20833 the amount will be 9167 this amount will be multiplied to 20%. Therefore, the withholding tax for employee 2 will be 1,833.40. Lastly, for our third employee with compensation of 40,000. With this amount of compensation, this will be within the third bracket. So to compute the withholding tax from the 40,000, deduct 33,333, the amount will be 6,667. Multiply that to 25%, so the amount will be 1,666.75. This shall be added to the predetermined amount of 2,500. Therefore, withholding tax of employee number 3 will be 4,166.75. Lastly, assuming that proper withholding was done by the employer, as an employee, you are then qualified for substituted filing wherein the employer, being the authorized withholding agent, will be the one filing the BIR Form 1700, which is the income tax return of the employee. 
So BIR Form 2316 shall be issued to each employee receiving salaries, wages, and other forms of remuneration by each employer indicating therein the total amount paid and the taxes withheld during the calendar year. And that's it. So let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section below. Also, if you're interested in videos for tax refund or tax deficiencies. So if you found this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos on taxation to help you improve your skills and knowledge in taxation. Lastly, if you haven't yet already, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any tax tutorials. So this is Gerard. I'll see you in the next one.